first it is a friday happy friday this is like my first time doing vlogmas and i literally just woke up so excuse the morning look and i'm really excited because you know this is my first time doing vlogmas and i'm kind of like not scared but I'm a little nervous because obviously it's a lot filming editing and uploading in one day editing itself just takes a while so the fact <coughs> excuse me the fact that I have to do it all in one day like that's that's pretty intense but you know what there's nothing that we cannot handle you know we gotta just do it whatever we put our mind to like we're gonna make it happen, gonna make it happen. Hi, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Anna. Welcome. On this channel, I used to make a lot of um, vlogs during my high school years. I also made a lot of music videos. Or not really music videos. I just film my life because I like to document things. I sync them up with music, so it's kind of like a compilation of something. But I call them music videos because they're pretty much like my own music videos. But not my own music. I'm just doing my morning routine. I'm just gonna get my day started. If you guys are curious what I normally put on my face in the morning, I'll have it linked down below because I did have a video about that like earlier this year. It's like my eye. It's always an eyelash. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> If you know, you know. I did put on these ears today because, you know, it's vlogmas, so we gotta fit the occasion. This is the first time I'm wearing these, actually, because I got these on sale with this Christmas backpack for a Disney trip that I had earlier this year. I just wanted the backpack, but I got the headband with it. It smells like hot cocoa. It's so cute. It's like mini Mickey hot cocoa mugs. My eyeball hurts. I am using this Youth to the People eye cream. It's pretty pricey, but I like how it fits on my eyes. It makes it really smooth, but I've been using this like every morning and every night. It's important to put on eye cream because your eye skin is a lot more sensitive than like your face skin, if that makes sense. I'm really excited for Vlogmas only because I haven't done it before and I'm up for the challenge. I'm really excited for all the things that are gonna come up in this December. So it's gonna be really fun. I also have like a major headache. It's like a migraine, but I don't know why I have it because I felt like I, I mean, I thought I slept good last night, but I guess not. That's all right though. I pray that the migraine goes away. Yeah, so while I get ready, I do have some questions that I want to answer just for you to get to know me more. I did post a poll on my Instagram. Ugh, my head hurts so bad. Like, I feel nauseous. Is that normal? First question that I got. One place you want to visit but haven't yet. Oh my gosh, there's so many places I want to visit. I guess Japan or Korea because I do want to like experience their food and just like the culture from what I've heard and from what, what I've seen in videos like it's looks like the culture is genuinely very very nice like no one's gonna steal your stuff no one's going to like harass you i don't know not like how it is in america of course self-serve trusting convenience stores yeah that'd be cool you know? oh actually i do want to go to mexico because like, my boyfriend goes and he's always telling me like oh yeah like we should go to mexico and that sounds really freaking fun because obviously i love the food i love the culture and yeah, like I think it'd be such a fun time. I am gonna go to Vietnam in January, so that's exciting because I've never been ever my entire life. The only the last time that was in Vietnam was when I was in my mom's belly. Okay, and she was like so sick, so so that's like a couple places I want to visit that I haven't been able to yet. <laughs> Another question that I got is my favorite food. I love sushi. Like, I love, 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 love sushi. Like, if I could eat it all day, every day, I can. But sushi is so expensive. When are you gonna drop 100 Starbucks raffle on your channel? Come on, man. Okay, I know this person personally that asked me that. So, it's pretty much banter. But, I mean, I would do a $100 giveaway. Not for Starbucks, though, because what's happening in pa Palestine right now? Um, yeah, we're not gonna support Starbucks. Which kind of sucks, because I do want to get a holiday drink. I really, really do. But we cannot support that. 
What are you looking forward to in the new year? I like this question only because this past year I've been doing a lot of self-reflection because I've been depressed and I had social anxiety for the past years, like ever since 2019. And it took a lot of strength for me to stop having that social anxiety. I had to talk to a lot of people that helped mitigate my social anxiety because I would just be so afraid to talk to people. And that's so crazy because if you had known me in like, my past years, like high school, elementary, like I felt like I was very extroverted. Like I felt like it was so easy for me to talk to people and like make friends and not care what people think of me or whatever. I had to like quarantine during the pandemic and I felt like just being on lockdown for almost a year and a half. That's pretty much it in a nutshell. Like I was in a place where I felt like I couldn't socialize. I couldn't be myself comfortably being like that for so long obviously it's gonna inhibit your growth and that's what happened for me so i lost a lot of myself i stopped posting my pictures i stopped filming those are like my passion especially my photos i'm a photographer or i, I want to say i am because i love taking pictures i love documenting me like not being able to post comfortably that distracted a lot of myself of who i am so uh, what was the question again? Oh, what are you looking forward to in the year? Yeah, so because of that and then because I came back to SoCal and I was able to, you know, find myself again after like talking to so many people, rekindling friendships and like just catching up, I learned that it's okay to post, you know? If it makes me happy, then I need to do it. Like, who cares what other people think? And if people are gonna judge me, then like, that's not gonna stop me because there's always gonna be haters or judges or whatever. I'm not saying that I have haters. I hope I not, I don't have haters. It's just like, I just don't want to be judged for posting. So that's why I'm doing Vlogmas because I want to be able to comfortably post again and be able to be myself authentically and not have to apologize or sugarcoat myself or like hide who I am because I've always enjoyed making freaking videos. So, okay, going back to the question. Sorry, that was like a little tangent. I'm looking forward to a new year of self-growth. Self, self, self-growth. Just personal battles I'm going through. So 2024, I'm looking forward to a new year of self-growth. What is Lana Del Rey? <laughs> That's so funny. What is Lana Del Rey? I don't know. What is her? I love her. I love her music. I've listened to her since 2012. Um, I think it was 2012, 2012 or 2011, I don't remember. I didn't discover her through her video games um, music video. I discovered her through her song, Summertime Sadness. And it was like during like peak Tumblr era. She was like the queen of Tumblr. Her aesthetic was so different and so beautiful and she was just above our time. Yeah, I remember I was on Tumblr and there was like this post that said, you fit me better than my favorite sweater. I would reblog that post because it's like pretty cute and cheesy, I guess. I didn't know that it was a Lana Del Rey lyric. When I YouTubed Summertime Sadness, her whole album came up. And there was this one song called Blue Jeans. Her lyric goes, You fit me better than my favorite sweater. Okay, and so when I heard that, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the Tumblr post. When I linked that correlation, like I thought that was, was so cool. I enjoyed that album a lot. Born to Die, I played it front to back non-stop every day so yeah I guess that pretty much solidifies the question what is Lana Del Rey? <laughs> okay I had to cut the cameras real quick because my battery was getting hot and also because I got hungry I still have a very bad migraine so hopefully this food will help me to be or not to be that is the question just be you know you only have one life. YOLO! <laughs> oh, Miss I. I think this is helping me. What is a rising sun and moon? Ask me for a friend. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so we're going to astrology. Here's a little astrology crash course for you. In the most simplest way possible, there is a constellation that is tied to your birthday on the day that you're born, right? There's this term called the big three. And that's basically the big three constellations that make up who you are in terms of your zodiac, right? When people say sun, that's pretty much your your main zodiac. Like for example, I'm born on February 17, right? And that makes me an Aquarius because that's like the zodiac in terms of my birthday. And 
The reason why it's called a sun, I learned this in my physics class actually. When we are born, the day, time, and where you're born, there's gonna be a constellation hiding behind the sun on that day and time and place you're born. Hence, your sun sign. In terms of the moon and your rising, when you hear like moon, that's basically, think of it like if you're locked in a closet, or no, not a closet, if you're locked in a room by yourself and you're just one with your own emotions, that is your true self in terms of your own emotions. And that's pretty much what a moon is. And rising is pretty much like how people first see you upon first impression. You're not showing your true moon emotions, but you have this mask when you are out in public or around other people. That's who they perceive you as first-hand first impression. My rising is Aquarius, so from what I know, like Aquarius are very free-spirited, are very out there, I guess. I mean, I could be very wrong. I guess my rising is an Aquarius, so how I am as my sun self is who I am when I'm in front of others. I guess that's why it's okay for me to be weird and be myself because that's just who I am in general. So I'm no astrologer, so I could be like very, very wrong. Mm -hmm. If you want to know your moon, sun, rising for yourself, just get the CoStar app and you can put in the date, time, and place you were born and it'll tell you your whole zodiac chart. So if you could change one thing about the world, what would it be and why? I would want people to hate less. I would want the negativity to go away. Like sometimes I think about if Adam and Eve didn't eat that apple, I'm pretty sure life would be freaking amazing right now. The bad things that happen in the world mainly have two drives, power and money. That's like the main drives that I feel like are the problem causers of this world's havoc. If I could just eliminate all that, that would be amazing. But the last question is, are you going on vacation soon? Yes, I am actually. The closest vacation that I was going to have come up was this Big Bear vacation that I was supposed to have with my mans. The next vacation after that is Countdown. And if you guys don't know what Countdown is, it's a rave. The, f the only ever rave that I've ever been to is EDC and I posted a vlog about that back in 2019. So you can watch that here. Countdown's going to be my second rave. Or actually... My second big rave because I, I did go to a Dom Bresky event earlier this year. I don't know if that counts as a rave because we didn't really rave, we just like bounced to like house music. So I'm gonna be going to Countdown soon, December 30th and December 31st. And I'm really freaking excited for it because it's just gonna be me and Tina, my cousin, and we're gonna have such a fun time. So, and yeah, that pretty much concludes my get ready with me and my Q&A that I wanted to do and start off this vlogmas with just having a little chit chat because I don't want to just be like filming content and like for you to be like oh who is she you know but oh my gosh I have like such a huge headache oh hey y'all I hold on Y'all, I literally like woke up from a nap and only because like, remember that migraine that I was talking about? Yeah, it hurt so bad where I felt like I had to like, Ugh. so I did that. My migraine is still here. Like, I don't know what's happening. I'm eating Cheerios because it's the only thing that I could hold down right now. Yeah, it's the best. This is the fit for right now because I'm gonna go pick up in and out because I'm hungry. My migraine mitigated a little bit, so hopefully this in and out will help. Did you guys know that every in and out has this X in front of the store? Yay, I got my in and out. Look at the cute cup, guys. It's like holiday festive. that pretty much sums up my vlogmas for today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for making it all the way to the end. And since you're here, comment a hamburger emoji because we just had it announced. Give a like, subscribe if you haven't already because I will be decorating my Christmas tree tomorrow and getting all like the Christmas decorations up. So I'm really excited for that. I will see you tomorrow. Happy December 1st.